upon that man and the man that had not worked for so long began to walk something great is about to happen as we spend time with you now i pray that the heavens will open and then great drops of rain the rain of revival the rain of prayer power will descend upon us in jesus name quicken us to pray energize us to pray help us to prevail in prayer in jesus name there was a jacob that prayed and jacob God prayed, he said, I will not let you go except you bless me. And he prayed and he was blessed by the Lord. The Bible says, and he blessed him there. Lord, I pray as we pray here today, amazing things you will do as you transform our lives, as we pray in the world. All that you have been teaching us, all that you've been, we've been hearing from heaven, we're praying that Lord will be translated into our lives in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, divine we call to you we look to you we look to you to help us to pray to live big on the inside of us to quicken us in the inner man to energize us to pray like we've never prayed to help us to prevail in prayer that the unction to pray the fire to pray the power to pray will descend upon us in a glorious way in Jesus name we thank you because we know you have answered blessed be the name of the Lord in Jesus name name we are prayed i will enter his gate with thanksgiving in my heart i will enter his God with praise i will say this is the day that the lord has made i will rejoice for he has made me glad he has made me glad made me glad i am so glad i will rejoice for he has made me glad i will enter i will enter his gate with thanksgiving in my heart i will enter his court with praise with praise i will sing this is the day that the lord has made i will rejoice for he has made me glad i want you to lift up your voice to the lord and thank god for thus far the lord has helped us he taught all the lord has helped us he taught all the lord has helped us we started on thursday and then friday and then this is saturday we want to give him the praise we want to magnify his name we want to exalt his name we want to adore the lord oh magnify the lord with me and exalt the name of the lord look at the many things he has done look at how he has blessed us look at the ministers he has, he has used to speak to our hearts he has used our cheers to bless us he has used our cheers to bless us he has used other ministers to bless us oh thank you father we give you the praise for sending us your word for blessing us with your word for speaking your words into our lives we give you the praise we magnify your name we exalt you dear lord thank you for the word you have sent to us the word you have sent to us the word of transformation the word of salvation the word of, uh, of sanctification the word of healing the word of deliverance the word of dominion we give you the praise we give you the praise we give you the praise he has not taken away our teachers from us we thank god for the anointed teachers of the world that god has raised to bless us to bring transformation to our lives let's lift up our voices and thank god for the ministers and thank god for our jesus our father in the lord that the lord has used to bless us greatly with the word of god 
purge let's magnify him let's exalt him let's adore him and thank God for the grace of God in the life of our father in the Lord and magnify the Lord for the grace the abundance of grace the abundance of grace and thank God for the grace of God in the life of our other ministers that the Lord has used oh we thank you oh we bless you oh we magnify your name bless the name of the Lord 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 give him the glory 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 magnify the name of the Lord with me let's exalt his name let's adore his name let's worship him let's bless him let's thank him blessed be the name of the Lord in Jesus name we have prayed amen now we're going to pray in the messages we have listened to I want you to think about what we have listened to today our glorious escape what a great great revelation from the world to escape from Sodom to escape from sickness to escape from Satan we're gonna pray for ourselves you see you're going to pray for yourself my question to you is this have you escaped from Sodom is there still sin in your life the Word of God says let not sin have dominion over you you're going to pray Lord sin will not have dominion over me sin will not have dominion over me sin will not have dominion over me there are some people that sin has dominion over them it's not enough to say you are a Christian are you living the victorious Christian life are you triumphant over sin are you do you have grace to live the victorious life pray for yourself and receive grace 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 the Bible says shall we continue in sin that grace may abound and the answer is no we cannot the Bible says sin shall not have dominion over us sin shall not lord it over us pray for yourself oh Lord God Almighty I ask for grace the grace to live the triumphant Christian life sin will not have dominion over me sin will not have dominion over me Pray for yourself. Are you overcome by the works of the flesh? Are you overcome by the works of the flesh? Are you overcome by the works of the flesh? Are you are you triumphant over the works of the flesh? Pray and receive grace, the grace to live the Christian life. I hope you are praying. I hope you are not distracted. I hope you are, you are really calling upon the name of the Lord so that you can live the triumphant Christian life, so you can live the overcoming life. Sin will not have dominion over me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will be victorious. I will be victorious. I will be triumphant. I will overcome. In the name of Jesus Christ, the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, and all those works of the flesh, idolatry. They must not have dominion over me. So do me. And the, the works of the flesh must not be there. The works of uh, of Sodom must not be there. Our pride must not be there. Oh, pray for yourself. Let the Lord root them out. The blood of Jesus is still mighty and powerful to cleanse you. Would you be washed? Would you be washed from your body of sin? Would you be cleansed from your body of sin? Would you be washed today? There's power in the blood. There's power in the blood. Wonder walking power in the blood of the Lamb. The blood is still powerful to cancel every to remove every cancelled sin it's still powerful to cleanse and make whiter than snow let the blood wash you 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 from the crowd wash you wash you totally oh lamb of god he can wash you today he can wash you today and wash your heart and wash your heart and wash your heart and wash your heart the bible says we've been washed by the blood oh the the blood is able to wash us and when God washes he washes when God truly washes he totally washes let the blood wash you let the blood cleanse you and cleanse you from every sin
and cleanse you from every stain and cleanse you from every impediment and cleanse you from every defilement you know sin will not enter into heaven iniquity will not get to heaven unrighteousness will not get to heaven God is of purer eyes than to behold evil he's of purer eyes he cannot look at iniquity pray for yourself let the Lord cleanse you let the Lord purge you let the Lord cleanse you let the Lord cleanse you and take away sin from your life in every shape in every form stop on this is sin idolatry is sin pride is sin they are pray every form of sin has to be gone yes God was looking Christ is coming for a pure church a holy church a rapture ready church a church that is cleansed a church that is cleansed cleansed from all unrighteousness cleansed from all the works of the flesh cleansed from all the works of Satan sin will not have dominion over you iniquity will not have dominion over you uncleanness will not have dominion over you every work of the devil oh God I come today pray for yourself and if you have been washed if you have been born again why don't you get sanctified let the blood of Christ sanctify you it's the same blood it's the same blood it's the same blood and the Adamic nature can be removed removed oh it's the same blood and the blood has not lost its power 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 it's the same blood that sanctified those who have gone before us is the same blood that was sanctified today and the blood has not lost its power pray let there be a change let there be a change let there be a cleansing by the blood oh blessed be the name of the lord oh blessed be the name of the lord oh blessed be the name of the lord blessed are the pure in art for they shall see god for they shall see god wherefore we are off, we are so wherefore that jesus might sanctify his people he suffered without the gate he paid the price for our sanctification as well you can pray today and ask the lord to sanctify you and ask the Lord to cleanse you and ask the Lord to sanctify you and take away every de anything defiling, defiling every defilement from your nature every defilement from your life every defilement from you so your life can glorify the Lord blessed be the name of the Lord in Jesus mighty name we have prayed now we're going to also pray and now that you are saved sanctified of course the lord wants us to live the crucified life i am crucified with christ nevertheless i live yet not high yet not high but christ lives in the inside of me on the inside of me we're going to pray that christ will live big in, inside of us pray for yourself oh god let christ live big inside of me that only christ will be seen that christ will be seen the holiness of christ the nature of christ the purity of Christ the love of Christ stamp thine own nature deep in my heart I want Jesus to be seen I want Jesus to be seen I want Jesus to be known that Lord help me to live the crucified life help me to live the crucified life help me to live the life that is crucified help me to live the life that is consecrated as well consecrated to God yielded to God sold out to God sold out to God live the consecrated Christian life to live the consecrated Christian life Lord help me Lord help me I receive grace the Word of God says we come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need this is the time of need the Bible tells us because iniquity shall abound the love of many will wax cold we're in the last days and the love of many are waxing cold already all oh, but I take an exception i will be different i receive grace i receive grace to remain consecrated i receive grace to remain consecrated i will not be moved i will not be moved the poor devil will not move me the poor devil will not move me i have made up my mind i found your consecration to god lord help me lord help me oh lord help me they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run and they will not be weary they shall walk and they will not faint oh God of heaven I come and I pray renew my strength
hands. Renew my strength. I will mount up with wings as eagle. I will run. I will not be weary. It will be forward ever, backward never. Forward ever, backward never. In the name of Jesus, consecrated I am and consecrated I will be. By the grace of God, pray that you will be conformed to the image of Christ. Pray more like Jesus I want to be. More like Jesus, I want to be. More like Jesus. 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 Worldliness is gone. Carnality is gone. The, the Bible says, I'm being not conformed to this world. When you're like the world, it weakens your power of influence. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that friendship with the world is enemy you with God. Oh, whosoever will be a friend of the world is an enemy of God. Pray. Are you waddling your thoughts? Are you waddling your actions? Are you thinking like the world? Don't let the world squeeze you into its own more into its mold. Are you thinking like the world? Are you operating like the world? Are you planning like the world? Are you operating like the world? Are your actions based on the world rather than on the word of God? Pray for yourself is there carnality in your life are you yet been carnal pray that the lord will cleanse you from worldliness and carnality from worldliness and carnality oh we cannot glorify god if we're like the world we become enemies of god if we're like the world we don't want to be like the world we don't want to be enemies of god we don't want to be enemies of god we want to be lovers of god lovers of christ lovers of god lovers of Christ. Oh God, fill me with your life. The life of God afresh. Abundant life. That there is no room, no space for the world. No room, no space for the poor devil. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I said, open your mouth wide and I will feel it. Open your mouth wide and I will feel it. Open your mouth wide and I will feel it. We are going Yes, with Christ. We are coheres with Christ. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Everything that Jesus possesses belongs to us. Everything that Jesus possesses belongs to us. Everything that Jesus possesses belongs to us. Praise the Lord. In Jesus' name we are praying. I can't hear you well enough. In Jesus' name we are praying. I will never let the devil win the battle. I will never compromise with sin. Though he may try me without, though he may try me within, I will never, I will never let the devil win the battle. I will never sing it out, the devil win the battle. I will never compromise with sin. Though he may try me within, though he may try me without, I will never, I will never let the devil win. What about you? I will never let the devil win the battle. I will never compromise with sin. Though he may try me within, though he may try me without, I will never, I will never let the devil win. Praise the Lord. We've been told about our, our escape from sickness. I want you to think about this and we're going to pray. We do not permit any sickness in the body, in the, in the lives of the brethren. 
We do not allow any sickness in the body of the people of God. The Bible says he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was laid upon him. And by his stripes we were healed. The Bible says himself took our infirmities and carried our sicknesses. What he took we must not carry. What he carried we must not carry anymore. We're going to pray. And you will pray for yourself if you are sick. And we'll take our breath brethren to God in prayers. The Bible says is any sick among you, let him pray, let him pray. And then it says, let him call for the elders of the church. We're going to pray. Sicknesses, infirmities, diseases have got to go in Jesus' name. Pray now and command sickness to go. There is an escape from sickness. Escape from sickness. Escape from sickness. Escape from sicknesses. Yes, cancer is not of God. Our God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with with, uh, with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him and he's still the same Jesus the same yesterday today and forevermore sickness I come against you in the name of Jesus Christ you must not remain there the Bible tells me very clearly hallelujah Jesus took away the infirmities he carried the sickness I command every sickness, I command every infirmity in the bodies of the people of God. You must not remain there because the word of God is clear. Sin will not have dominion over us. Sickness must not have dominion over us as well. Oh God, I pray now. The sickness, I command you go. Infirmities, I command you go. Leave the bodies of the people of God. The body of God's people is the temple of the Holy Ghost. The Bible says your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, make up your mind, rebuke the sickness, tell the sickness to go. Jesus Christ said, And this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils, they shall lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. You can lay hands on yourself, and you will recover because God will not fail. His promises are remain, remain the same. I command cancer to go in the name of Jesus Christ. Cancer says, I said, Die in Jesus' name. I command the cells to die out in Jesus' name. I take authority now. You take authority as people of God because we have escaped sicknesses in Christ. Take authority. High blood pressure, diabetes, liver problem, kidney problem. You are not permitted to continue your works. I come against you in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, by his stripes we were healed. By his stripes we were healed. By his stripes we were healed. Oh, sickness you have not been planted in the body of the people of God by God and it is written whatever the heavenly father has not planted shall be rooted out sickness I root you out I root you out now you pack your load and go get out in Jesus name pack your load 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 and get out in the name of Jesus we serve the God that cannot fail we serve the God that cannot fail we serve the God that cannot fail. He healed them all. He healed them all. And when the evil was come, they brought unto him all sicknesses and all kinds of diseases. And he healed them all. And God has not changed. In Jesus' name. Amen. As God changed, my God will never change. As God change, my God will never change. The same yesterday, today, and forever. As God change, my God will never, He will never change. As God change, my God will never change as God change my Lord will never change the same yesterday today and forever as God change my Lord will never change the word of God tells 
tells us very clearly God says I am God I God says I am God I change not and that's why the sons of Jacob are not consumed the Bible tells us Jesus Christ the same oh praise God the same the same the same the same the same the same in power the same in might the same in ability the same in wonders the same in glory Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forevermore that gives us assurance that every sickness will go I want us to pray right now if you're sick you pray for yourself and we're gonna pray if you're not sick you pray for those who are sick that God will visit them right now the Lord will touch them this retreat will be the turning point every sickness has got to go every sickness right now lay hold on the promises of God lay hold on the promises of God you will serve the Lord he will bless your bread he will bless your water it will take away sicknesses from the midst of you oh glory to God what long life will I satisfy you your sickness will not cut short your life in the name of Jesus Christ it says whatever the heavenly father has not planted it shall be rooted out root out every sickness root out every sickness root out every infirmity root out every work of the devil root them out root them out root them out out root them out in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost root them out root out every sickness oh we do not permit any sickness in the bodies of the people of God we do not permit any sickness we do not permit any sickness don't doubt the Lord believe God doubt your doubts but believe God don't you doubt God don't doubt the Lord he will not fail he will not fail he will not disappoint he cannot disappoint he cannot fail he cannot fail no negotiation with the devil no negotiation with satan 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 we had that before no negotiation with satan you will not negotiate with pharaoh you will not negotiate with satan no Negotiate with Satan. You've got to be healed. 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 You've got to be delivered. That's the promise of God for you. That's the promise of God for you. You've got to be healed. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Ha, hallelujah. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Brothers and sisters, it's pretty clear. It's crystal clear in scriptures that God does not want us to be sick. God wants us to be well. God wants us to be liberated. God wants us to be delivered. He wants us to reign in life. I'm going to read a verse of scriptures. You can open your Bible as you are still praying. In Romans chapter 5 and in verse 17, I want you to look at this verse and fix your eyes on the word of God, not on the challenge, not on the problem. You can cancel what is happening by what is written. You can cancel what is happening by what is written. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word will not pass away, saith the Lord. The Lord says, forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. We cancel what is happening by what is written. In Romans chapter 5 verse 17, here the word of God tells us clearly, for if by one man's offense, then death reigned by one much more they much more they much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life say it out loud shall reign in life now say this after me i will reign in life one more time i will reign in life one more time i will reign in life one more time i will reign in life I will reign over sickness, I will reign over Satan, I will reign over diseases, I will reign over poverty, I will reign over the plans and tricks of the devil. I will reign because he has made me king. He's made me a king unto my God. Look at it. It says much more than, much more day, 
which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness the gift of righteousness you see anything coming from the almighty god is much more it's much more the bible says now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we can ask or think according to the power that works in us anything coming from god is always much more it says how much it says very clearly ask and it shall be given you seek and you will find knock and it shall be opened unto you for everyone that asketh receive it and he that seeketh find it and to him that knocketh it shall be opened or what man is there of you whom if his son asks for bread will he give him a stone or if he asks for fish will he give him a serpent if you then know how to give good things good gifts unto your children how much more shall God give good things to them that ask him the point is this the God we serve is the God of much more there's abundance with God look at what the verse says here much more day but receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by Jesus Christ a child of God is not to be pitied but envied a child of God is never to be pitied but envied you are going to pray and reign over anything that is bothering your life any problem any challenge any difficulty that's part of why we are the retreat you pray and you knock that thing out you reign over it like Jacob he prayed he prayed he prayed he prayed and the enemy of the enmity of many years totally solved like that I want you to pray now and reign over every challenge that confronts your life if it's sickness pray and reign over over high blood pressure if it's defeat whatever it is rain 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 in life rain in life not only when we get to heaven we reign in this life we are winners in Christ we are victors in Christ we are more than conquerors in Christ we have dominion in Christ we reign in life oh blessed be the name of the Lord my God I bless you my God I worship you because in Christ I reign because in Christ the church reigns you said you will build your church and the gates of hell will never be able to prevail and that poor devil is under our feet oh we reign we reign we reign in Christ we reign in life by Jesus Christ our Savior we are co heirs with Christ we are heirs of God everything he has belongs to us hallelujah 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 whatever the enemy has stolen get it back whatever the enemy has stolen get it back whatever the enemy has stolen in your life get it back it's stolen your righteousness get it back whatever the enemy has stolen get it back he stolen your sanctification get it back whatever the enemy has stolen maybe you have been falling and rising get back the power to live the consistent Christian life whatever the enemy has stolen get it back he stolen your health you know that's the devil is a it's a, a robber it comes to steal to kill and to destroy whatever the enemy has stolen get it back 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 now in the place of prayer in the place of prayer Hezekiah prayed and he was healed in the place of prayer oh glory to God Jehoshaphat they believed God and the problem was resolved oh Paul and Silas they believed God and God intervened on their behalf we still serve the same God it does not change the child of God is not to be pitied but envy it. Turn the situation around in your life today. We serve a God that will not fail. Impossible for God to fail. Impossible for God to lie. Impossible for God to disappoint. Impossible for God to disappoint. He cannot fail. He cannot lie. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. As he said, and shall he not do it? As he spoken, and shall he not make it good? It's the God that makes things good. Oh, how good and perfect gift is from above. From the father of light with whom there is no variableness no shadow of turning that's the God we serve the God of all flesh the God of all power with whom nothing shall be impossible open your mouth open your mouth open your mouth open your mouth and pray you get back what the enemy has stolen you get it back you get it back you get it back you better get it back is the hour of prayer is the hour of prayer is the hour of prayer I will not 
not let you go except you bless me. I will not let you go except you save me. I will not let you go except you sanctify me. I will not let you go except you heal me. I will not let you go except this burden is rolled away. The burden of sin can be rolled away. The burden of sickness can be rolled away. We still serve the same God. He will not fail. 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 From the time of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. Take by force what belongs to you in destiny. Take by force what belongs to you in Christ. You are a co-heir with Christ. You are an heir, a joint heir with Christ. You are an heir of God. There are things that belong to you in destiny. Take them by force. Take them by force. Take them by force. The force of faith. The force of prayer. The force of believing God. Holding on to the everlasting arms. He cannot fail. He cannot fail. I will not let go his hands. 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 He said, open your mouth wide and I will feel it. Open your mouth wide. 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 He will feel it in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we have prayed. I can't hear your amen in loud enough. One more time in Jesus' name we'll pray. What oh, mighty God we say hallelujah. Mighty God we say hallelujah. Heaven and earth adore him. Angels bow before him. What The mighty God in battle, El Shaddai. Oh, you are the mighty God in battle. Jehovah, they say you are the mighty God in battle, El Shaddai. You are the mighty. to the gate of the enemy i want you to understand something that god is the god of battles god can fight battles and he can use anything to fight battles he's the awesome god he's the mighty god pharaoh and the egyptians said the god of the hebrews the god of israel is fighting for them the new god can fight battles the god you serve is the god that fights battles that's why the child of god is not to be pitied but envied whatever battle of life you are facing now we have learned about our escape from satan is the engineer by Behind the battles is the engineer behind all the troubles of life. We're going to pray now and take the battle to the gates of the enemy and command right now in the name of 
Jesus. Let God arise, let the enemies be scattered. 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 They end the battle in your family, the battle in your home, the battle with your children, the battle, the battle, the battle. Let God arise. Let the enemies be scattered. The devil and his cause, the devil and his agents. Let God arise ah, and let the enemies be scattered. Let God arise and let the enemies be scattered. The God will serve as the God of battles. He knows how to fight battles. And that's why he said, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. We, he knows how to fight battles. It's the mighty man of battle. It's the mighty God. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Arise, O oh God. Let the enemies be scattered. Let the enemies be scattered. Let the enemies be scattered. The, en the adversaries of your soul. The adversaries of your spiritual life. The adversaries of your family. The adversaries of your, of your children. Let God arise. Let God arise. Our escape from Satan. Our escape from Satan. He has translated us from the kingdom of dark, darkness to the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are more than conqueror. We reign in life. We put that devil where he belongs. He belongs under our feet. Put him where he belongs. Put him where he belongs. Put him where he belongs. It belongs under your feet. 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 Glory to God. 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 In Jesus' name we are prayed. Now, brothers and sisters, I want you to pay attention to something. You see, the word of God tells us very clearly that you have not because you ask not. It's important to ask. You have not because you ask not. Not because God does not want to help, but because we ask not. You might say, but I thought I was asking. There is a kind of ask that gets the job done. I want you to think about Elijah praying. He prayed and the rain fell. He prayed until the rain came. That's what it means to ask. I want you to think about those who have asked in scriptures. Jacob prayed until something happened. You are going to pray for the last few minutes we have. You will pray until something happens. Prayer is not just for praying's sake. Never you pray for praying's sake. You want to pray until something happens. God says, call unto me and I will answer you. I show you great and mighty things that you have never known. We are to pray until something happens. And if we will pray something will happen if you will pray something will happen if you will open your mouth something will happen he said open your mouth wide and i will feel it open your mouth open your mouth open your mouth wide in prayer open your mouth wide in prayer you have not because you ask not what are your goals for this retreat what are your goals Spart baptism in the holy ghost what are your goals spirit baptism what are your goals the gifts of the spirit what are your goals to be empowered for the next level for the next level what are your goals to be renewed by the Lord what are your goals you must have goals you must have goals you must have goals it's important to have goals what are your goals Lord I come with my goals I come with my my needs to you that this retreat will not go I will not go back the same way I came I will be saved if you're not saved, you'll be saved. If you're not sanctified, you'll be sanctified. If you're not baptized in the Holy Ghost, you'll be baptized in the Holy Ghost. Committed and consecrated to God. You'll be yielded in the hands of God. You'll be surrendered to God. You pray to have dominion. Your sicknesses will be healed. Your sicknesses will be healed. No sickness is permitted to go with you back. And to go with you back after the retreat is over. No sickness is permitted. No sickness is permitted.